Good evening, everyone. Hello, Paul. Okay, dokey. So, kung listening mode po kayo, uh, please let me know. Kindly write it doon sa ating uh, chat group. <laughs> if you're able, uh, uh, please uh, participate. Thank you. So, we have here. Okay. Okay, okay. Derek and Chaya, good evening po. Listening mode. Uh, thank you po. Sabi ni Derek and Chaya. Okay, lagay natin dito. Dave, good evening sa'yo, Dave. Listening mode din si Dave. So, John Marco. Hello po, listening mode po ako tonight. John Marco. Good evening, John Marco. May pagbutang sa listening mode dito. Good evening po sa lahat. Listening mode po ako tonight. Prepping po for finals. Hey, hey, midterms po pala. So, we have Giselle listening mode. And then, uh, okay, Justin is also in listening mode. Good evening po sa lahat. Listening mode po ako. Pasensya na po. We have Faith in listening mode. Okie dokie. Ayan, ayan, ayan. So, okay, good evening, good evening sa mga listening mode natin. Giselle, Dad, Jaya, Dave, John, Marco, Justin, and Faith. Okay. And we have also Tyro listening mode. And we are also listening to you, Tyro. Kindly mute. <laughs> okay, pati mute yung ano. Okay, good evening, good evening sa inyong lahat. Yes. So, okay. Good evening kay Tita Bing, Rachel and Jai, Tita Fe Dumuk, uh, Sister Josie, good evening, uh, Rose Marie and Penny. Good evening po. Good evening po. Rose Marie and Penny. Hi Penny, good evening to you. Alex May, good evening. And uh, Tita Janet, good evening. Aldrin and Jasmine, good evening. All right, all right. Let's start the ball rolling. Na sa aking first uh tatawagin ay si Tita Bing. Tita Bing, magandang gabi sa iyo. Prayer request and uh, praise report po. Ano ang Magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Good evening. Maganda ka pa sa gabi. Ay, salamat po. Ah, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, praise report po. Uh, salamat po sa buhay natin sa araw-araw. Mm -hmm. At Okay, uh, yun din pong nung Sunday, uh, okay po yung ating ano, service po. And ang prayer request naman po, uh, sana po yung may mga karamdaman po uh, gumaling na at yung iba pong hindi nakakapunta po sa church, sana po makabalik na sila. Ilaman po. Thank you. Maraming salamat, Tita Bing. So... Magbasa muna tayo dito ng prayer request and praise report. Uh, praise report po from Derek and Jaya. Pinapasala, nagpinagpapasalamat ko po ang kagalingan namin. Umpisa, pa sa mga, umpisa po sa mga bata. Pati na rin po sa amin na nakadanas po ng sinus infection. Ayan, praise the Lord sa inyo. Faith. Praise report. Praise report. Report. <laughs> Kasi puro F eh. Faith and faith eh. Okay. <laughs> praise report uh, nakarating po ng save si Mama Fefwa dito sa LA praise God po and uh, prayer request approval ng uh, extension po dito sa US still waiting for case resort All right, welcome back Tita Peps mukhang uh, dala mo ba ang corona mo Tita Peps sa iyong 70th birthday at uh, dito naman tayo mag celebrate ng birthday mo Ayan, papasarado natin ng buong Third Street, Tita Pepot. Ayan, dala po niya. <laughs> Abuti hindi hinarang sa ano, sa immigration, Tita Pepot, yung iyong uh, corona. 
<laughs> at yan ay national treasure ata ng Pilipinas at di na lang mo sa Amerika. Ayan, kasi si Tita Peps ay nag-celebrate ano, ng ano, kanyang 70th sa Philippines. Ayan. We're happy for you on your 70th birthday. Okay, okay. Good evening sa'yo, Rachel and Jai. Hello po, good evening. So, ang praise report ko po is um thank you Lord po dahil nakapag-filter po kami niya. Guys. Eh nakita ko po yung talagang progress niya, um yung improvement niya po. So, na, na nakita ko po yung difference niya doon sa ibang mga bata, na special and then sabi ko, ay parang di na dapat pala ako sumama kasi di naman yata ako kailangan ni Rizel. So, ayun po, praise the Lord kasi Talaga po nagpapasalamat kami dun sa teacher niya na talagang sinusuportahan po si Rizel and then yung therapist niya po every day na pumupunta din po dito sa bahay namin. And yung praise report ko din po is um, nagawa na po yung hot water namin dito sa bahay kasi po na, na, nasira po siya nung Saturday. So mm-hmm. nag-Pilipino style tower po kami. <laughs> ano po, Tabo at Balde, ganun po. So ayun. Um, praise the Lord po, ayos na po siya. And then yung prayer request ko po will be yung um, continuous growth po ng praise and worship team. Kasi po, ano, um, may kulang na instrumentalist, magano, may hindi available. So, ayun po. So, patuloy po na growth ng praise and worship team members po. Ayun. Amen. Thank you, thank you. So, we have here, good evening po, uh, Pastor Bert and CJ. Good evening sa you. And uh, Tita Fe Dumuk, good evening, pray support and prayer request. Oh, oh. oh. Mm. I praise the Lord because His love is constant. Mm. His mercy endures forever. And we, when we come to Him and uh, request Him for anything that we need, He really will never turn his ear from us and my request is that um ben has been coughing that god will heal him from his cough and then for may my daughter uh i'm requesting that the result of her hair colonoscopy and biopsy yesterday would be a good result so Which si, would show a good result. So, si, uh, si Tito Ben, coughing, si Tita uh, Ben. Mm-hmm. Nga mabuti yung re, maging resulta ng kanyang biopsy from her colonoscopy yesterday. Uh, they, they found, I think, uh, walong polyps. Okay. So, mm-hmm. Sa akin so, po, sana maging maganda ang resulta ng biopsy. Negative yan. Nahalala ko sa akin dalawa dati. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Pastor. Ako, Tita Fe. Tita Josie, magandang gabi sa'yo. Pray support and pray <clears throat> uh, Good evening po sa lahat. Uh, ang pray support ko po ay uh, praise God po at medyo bumaba na po yung aking BP. Okay yeah. na po siya. Uh, salamat po sa pag-iingat sa ating lahat at uh, sa pagtataguyod sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay. Salamat po sa ating Panginoon. At uh, ang prayer request ko po, maging maayos po yung aking pagmamamugram bukas, pagpapamamugram bukas, at uh, maging maayos din po yung result. Okay. Yan lang po. Maraming salamat po, Tito Josie. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good evening, good evening. Um, Tita Rose, uh, any praise support and prayer request? Good evening po sa inyong lahat. Uh, ang praise support ko po, patuloy pong uh, pinibiyaan po tayo sa araw-araw ng Panginoon. Uh, sa awa ng Diyos naman po, wala pong nakakasakit sa amin. Na, at patuloy po kami iniingatan Panginoon at lahat po tayo sa simbahan sana po ay ganun din po uh, sa araw-araw na pagbiyahe natin ang prayer request ko po 
ay sana po ay magkaroon ng opening sa opportunity po kay Dave kasi po mahirap na rin po yung trabaho niya. Uh, hmm. Dati po na nalalangin po kami mapalipat po sa schedule si Dave pero ngayon po baka po para po nagdadalawa isip na siyang uh, gusto po niyang magkaroon ng ibang work. So kung yun po ang will ng Panginoon na uh, magkaroon ng ibang opportunity para sa kanya, willing po siyang sumubok. Yes, yeah, so be bless siya, be bless siya, sigurado yan. Opo, basta po, sana po, ang request lang po namin, sana po Monday to Fridays para makapagsimba na rin po siya. Yun po ang isang, kahit po magpapalipat siya sa anong trabaho man. At hmm. ako rin po, yung pasyente ko po, medyo parang sigurado na po ang pag-move sa Washington. So, hopefully po na magkaroon din po ako ng iba pang patients. Uh, meron naman po mga ibang alok pero temporary po yung iba Penny you want you want to say something what are you thankful for I want to say that I'm thankful for all of the bright and intelligent people that I have met throughout my time here and the fact that they are kind and thoughtful and help to explain things to me that I did not previously have an explanation for. And now I am learning to listen more carefully to all of the things that are part of our life that we sometimes share with other people. And uh, both the, you know, all of the, the people that I'm with like to hear how some of these things come out in uh, prayer. Mm -hmm. And so that is my work right now is to listen for that and to see if I am holding at my end of what I should be holding up mm -hmm. for prayer. Thank you, Penny. Thank you, Penny. So nice hearing from you again. And hope to see you in the church uh, soon, uh, Penny. <laughs> I think I will be there. <laughs> okay. Let's have some Filipino food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, from Giselle. Uh, praise the Lord. Kopo, I I'm I'm enjoying my classes po for my last semester. Kai challenging po sila and pinadalhan po ako ni Lord ng new friends na sobrang laking help po sa aking journey for my last sem. Di na po ako loner sa season, ha? Praying na madala ko po sila sa church as well. Prayer request naman po, auditing midterm ko po bukas. Ang dami pong concepts at ang dami pong concepts. So praying na He will provide me with wisdom and knowledge po. Yan. So, lagay natin dito, Giselle. Okay. Tita Janet. Just me. Good evening po. Um, praise report and prayer request po. <coughs> Tita Janet? Magandang gabi po sa lahat. Um, praise report. Ah, nagpapasalamat po tayo sa mga answered prayers ng Panginoon. Isa po dun yung schedule ni husband sa kanyang work. Uh, <laughs> hopefully by March talagang Ah, uh, maayos na po yung schedule niya para yung aming schedule lalo na po pag Sunday is sa maka talagang free po siya to worship the Lord with with his family. So, yun po nang Oo, uh, nagpapasalamat po kami sa Panginoon. So, prayer request, continued protection po sa mga bata at sa kanya nitong kay Janel pa rin sa kanyang college um sa pagpasok po niya ng kolehiyo. Na si Lord ang magdirect kung saan siya papasok na school. Yun lamang po, marami pong salamat. Yes, marami pong salamat. Okay, good evening, good evening sa'yo. Aldrin and Jasmine, good evening. Praise report and prayer request. Hey, good evening po. Um, thank you. Nagtitank you po kami kay Lord dahil uh, lagi po niya kami pinangangalagaan sa biyahe every time na papasok sa work and uwi po. And also, uh, uh, maayos po yung aming kalusugan. So far, wala naman po magkakasakit at wala sana po magkasakit. And um, thankful din po kami kasi uh, si Alison po is okay siya sa school. And ako naman po, 
Okay naman po. At saka, Pastor, ano, prayer, prayer request po pala. Exam po na po pala sa March 6. Okay, just me. Uh, para sa, ano po, para sa permanent position. Wow. Okay. Na-schedule na po ako. Permanent. Okay, ano mga in-exam dun? Ano po eh, ngayon po pa, dito pa rin po sa bahay, tapos through come, isa sa harap, isa raw po sa likod. Yun yung yung... Papantay pa rin. Tapos okay. meron, meron, na, meron nanonood sa akin na kailangan wala daw ibang tao sa paligid ko po. Ganun. Pero ano mga tanong? Mga math? Sorry. Ah, math po. Math, then yung mga temperature po sa Luto. pagluluto. O, oh, Fahrenheit ah, po. Yeah. Um, po. Yun po. Yeah. Okay na yun uh, sa stomach pain mo. Ngayon pa okay. <laughs> okay na po. Ano lang na sobrahan lang po sa dragon fruit. Oh, wala na tawal na dragon fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you po sa prayer. Na okay na po ako ngayon. Yan yeah. lang po. Ako meron. Anito? Ako po. Uh, praise report po. Mm-hmm. Ano, finally po. Uh, na pay off na po namin yung kotse. Wow. Bili na ng Tesla. Hindi <laughs> 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 <Di> po. <laughs> Para po makaluwag-luwag naman po eh. Ano, uh, yung, 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 makaamayos pa po siya eh. Ilan taon yun? Six years na po. Oo, oh, bilis ah. Oh. Uh, six years. Mababa pa po mileage, pasto. 35,000 pa lang. What? <laughs> po talaga ako nagdadrive masyado eh. Oo, oh, baba. Ano, super baba yun. At, uh, ano yan? Uh, kasi ang drive mo lang naman, halos work tsaka, ano, eh, tsaka church lang naman eh. Papa, work and church lang po. Yeah, and then, prayer request po, Pastor, ano, si Anaya may uh, field trip tomorrow. Awesome. The protection for Anaya. Anaya field trip uh, protection. Yeah. Yun lang po. Thank you po. Hey. Thank you po. Anastasios, magandang gabi, Pastor Bert. Praise report and prayer request. Hi, magandang gabi po. Uh, praise report. Well, uh, praise report. Uh, kanina pa lang umaga. Ay, yeah, umaga. <laughs> uh, na, nasundo na namin si... si... Makarating na. Nasa... Kapeps. Na, uh, nasa Park View na siya. Nasa <laughs> Park View. Yeah. At uh, praise God at uh, okay naman. Um, sandali lang po, Pastor. Ha? Thank you po daw, Pastor Bird, sa pagsundo kay Tita Pepot, sabi ni Faith. And uh, sabi ni Faith din, wow, 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 baka maging master chef ka, Ate Jasmine. Sabi ni Rachel, ping, ping, ping. <laughs> Ay, nako. <laughs> E pang master chef talaga si Jasmine. E magbabangs ba naman yan nung Sunday kung hindi magmamaster chef? <laughs> okay. Uh, balikan natin si Pastor Bert. CJ, good evening sa'yo. I miss you, CJ. Parang namimiss ko si CJ. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. CJ, good evening. Praise support and pray, uh, praise support and prayer request. CJ. Okay, balikan natin si CJ. Uh, but Pastor Bert, game ka na? Yeah, uh, meron lang ano, uh, <laughs> tumawag. <laughs> Sorry po. Yeah, praise report. Uh, mahati na nandito na si Tita Peps. <laughs> uh, praise God. Uh, uh, prayer request naman po eh. Yung nga na everybody be safe and in good health. And especially do yung mga Nagbibiyay every every day. And ganun din kay si Sir LB na early morning, eh, nagbiyay na siya. Pumunta siya ng Agora Hills. <laughs> eh, hoping sana sa Sabado eh, kung uuwi siya eh, pupuntaan ko sana. Para ako nalang mag-drive eh, kaya lang pala wala ako sa sakyan. <laughs> so ano po, uh, yun lang sa lahat ng mga... Nag-bibiyahe, uh, uh, keep, keep safe. And yun nga lang po, uh, yung pag-iingat ng Panginoon sa lahat. Thank you po, thank you po. 
Salamat po, Pastor Bert. CJ, back to you. Pwede ka na ba? Okay, balikan natin si CJ. Tita LV, good evening. Pwede ka ba, Tita LV? Hello po, good evening po. Dito po ako sa Agora ngayon. Naka-duty. So, nagpapasalamat po ako sa, di ba pinag-pray po natin yung, yung si, si Patty. So, uh, ano nag nag ano, nag-heal na po yung kanyang ano yung kanyang sugat so patuloy po natin panalangin kasi naka, naka, nakalakad naman po siya agad maayos naman po ang kondisyon niya so hindi na po kailangan yung may umaalalay sa kanya so nakaka nakakapunta na po sa banyo mag-isa so nagpapasalamat din po siya sa mga prayers natin na no Uh, complete healing na lang po na sana uh, in two weeks time pa po siguro. Ako nandito. Nandito po ako ngayon hanggang sa sa, fra, uh, sa Saturday po siguro. So complete healing pa po yung na po yung ano. Tsaka, tsaka po yung protection po kasi kanina po nagdadrive ako papunta dito napaka foggy. Mm-hmm. So kasi paano na po to eh, sa Agora Hills medyo pataas ata ang Yeah. Kaya po, patuloy pong protection po sa lahat ng nagda-drive during the day. Okay. Every day po. Salamat po. Salamat po, Tita LV. Okay, good evening sa iyo, Alison May. Uh, para sa iyong praise support and prayer request. And then, let's go right away doon sa ano after mo mag-praise support and uh, prayer request. Hello po. Um, good evening po. So, please report ko naman po is everything's going well pa rin po sa school ko and I'm happy po dahil six weeks in na po kami sa semester and, and, and everything is flowing smoothly pa rin po. Thank God po. Um, prayer request lang po is malapit na po din kaming mag-meet term on thing. Ilang weeks na lang po. And uh, continuous lang po yung pagiging focus ko sa studies ko and na maintindihan ko po ng mabuti yung mga pinag-aaralan po namin. At the same time po, sana din po maka, magkaroon din po ako ng mga more acquaintances din po sa school. Sige, maraming salamat. So, share ko muna. Sige lang. <clears throat> Okay, dokes. Si share ko muna. Sandali lang, Alison. Okay, okay. Uh, we have here. Welcome to your Simbang Pinoy. Welcome to the upper Zoom prayer gathering. Everyone's 8 p.m. We're done with our prayer support and prayer request. So, sa devotional leaders natin, we have Alison. And next uh, Wednesday, uh, it will be uh, Sister Anna Lu. Okay. So, Uh, bago natin na uh, pagbulay-bulayan ng salita ng Diyos, no, bago ko ibigay kay Alison, uh, so we have here, uh, Rachel will uh, pray for the LA Philness attendees number 27 to 41. And then uh, we will have uh, Sister Janet to pray for the Church of the Nazarene uh, for complete healing provisions and etc. Uh, complete healing, uh, Sister Tita Fe Dumok will pray for um, uh, what they call this, complete healing. Now, isa-isayin lang natin. Uh, okay na po ba ito? Uh, tatanggalin na po ba natin to Tita B or stay pa rin to lower down sugar and uh, lower back pain? Stay pa rin po, Pastor. Stay pa rin po. Tita Josie, uh, tatanggalin na po ba natin itong BP? Tama po ba? Tatanggalin na po. Okay. okay na po. Normalize na. Praise the Lord na ito. Ayan. Apo. Tapos na yung hip surgery pero continuous ano na lang uh, healing no? uh, kay uh, Sister Patty. And then uh, sa mga may ubo, we have Jirel, Rizel, okay na sila. No? Okay na po. Pati yata si Itinay po nakakagpun po siya ng linggo. Yan, pwede na natin. Ako na lang ang may po. So, uh, si Gemma Vicente, stay pa rin ba si Gemma? Opo, Pastor Gemma. So, si Tita Verna, si Tita Verna uh, 
Kapag may time kayo, text-text nyo siya, nalulungkot siya kasi nando siya sa North California, hindi siya makauwi dito. So, ayan, nakikinig siya sa atin palagi. No? Mag, uh, hi, Tita Berna, good evening sa'yo. At uh, pal- pagaling ka agad. Okay? Uh, para, sana makasama ka sa, ano, sa Spring Family Camp. Okay, uh, we have, of course, Mercedes B2, and then so on and so forth. Yan. Stay pa rin yan yan. So for complete healing, Tita LV will lead us in prayer sa cancer naman ito. No? Uh, anim pa rin yung ating uh, 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 pinagpipray. No? Uh, personal supplication, Allison will pray for the favor and request. So we have here... Uh, um, CVC re- gu- uh, results ni Anaya, okay na ba? Uh, hindi ngayon pa lang pong ano March po. Okay, stay ano, okay. Thank you po. Then uh uh and then we have Lauren and Faith behind the wheel exam. And then Aban Janelle and then oops, nagat na wala. And then uh we have here um weddings, Joshua. Yeah, stay pa rin to mga to. So events natin, eto na mga susunod na events. So game na ba kayo sa ano na holy holy season holy season. Uh, ano na um Kuwaresma na at uh, malapit na ang Tenebre, after ng Tenebre ay Resurrection Sunday. Okay, okay. Meron tayong four stories no sa Resurrection Sunday kagaya ng last year. Meron tayong four stories. Okay? So siguro mabigay na natin kay uh, Andali, Pastor, si Daddy Ben may ubo din. Yes. Oh, sige, na, nilagay ko na rin dito si Pastor, ah, si Daddy Ben. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, bago natin ibigay kay uh, Alison, uh, we have also... Uh, andali, okay, good evening, Pastor Jeff. Praise support. Uh, thankful for God's blessings and provision. Healing sa may lahat ng sakit. Okay, so si CJ. Okay, good evening CJ. Okay, okay, okay. Pagbubulay sa salita ng Diyos. Okay. Alright, Alison. Let's start. Uh, pagbubulay sa salita ng Diyos. No? We have here uh, salt and light ang discuss ni Alison. No? So, go ahead Alison. Okay po. Good evening po ulit. Ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayon is uh, Matthew 5 verse 13 to 16. And it is about the salt and light. So ito po si, ang nagsasalita po dito is si Jesus. Sabi po niya is, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. So, ang pagkaintindi ko po dito is Jesus calls us as the salt and light of this world. And usually po ang naririnig ko is the part that says we are the light of the world can be easily understand po by Christians such as ourselves. Where the light in us from God, meaning na it shines through the darkness of the world that we live in. Pero what does it mean po dun sa number 13 that we are the salt of the earth? So, Commonly po, in literal sense po, ang kagamitan po ng salt is to enhance yung flavor. Ginagamit din po natin ito para sa pagluluto. And there are many uses for salt. Um, one of their uses is, halimbawa po, um, tubig alat. So, salted water can help us, especially pag sa wound. It helps it heal. Another thing is, sa meat. When we put, when we salt on, when we salt it, it helps it to be preserved. And just like us, we need to preserve ourselves and preserve our heart for the Lord. Para hindi po tayo confirm sa mundo. And 
it is also used for seasoning. And yung pagsisisuning na po yun, yun yung nagpapalasa. And yung pampalasa na yun is dapat nakikita sa buhay natin. Meaning, it's the life of being a true Christian. Kaya po, dito naman, it's important to really assess ourselves if we are true disciples of Christ. And siyempre, sinaad din naman po ni Jesus kung paano, paano malalaman yon. And that is on John 13, um, verse 35. Sabi po doon is, By this, everyone will know that you are my disciple if you have love for one another. So I continue po natin. So by enhancing po the salt and because of the Holy Spirit, doon po yung sinasabi ko na it should reflect the life of how, of being a true Christian. Doon yung makikita po na masaya po tayo sa buhay natin although we are going through um circumstances and that everything we say moving forward is useful for God's kingdom. Pero kung babasahin po natin yung verse 13 po na kalagay ko po doon is you are the salt of the earth but if the salt loses its saltiness how can it be made salty again it is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot so ito po siguro yung perspective ko dito is pag nanabang tayo um tapos pati si Lord na dadamay natin and maari din pong hindi na tayo maging kagamit-gamit to glorify Him. Kasi nandun na yung matabang na tayo, bitter na sa tayo, and we cannot, we can, with that, we can no longer show the being the salt and light representing Jesus. Because Jesus is the representation of love. And dito naman po is, yun yung, when you're, passion for him is loss and sometimes this actually happens for um, many Christians pero ang mas nakakatakot po is pag nanabang ka and then you actually turn away from the Lord and we can also see this as backsliding yung paunti-unti kang nagdi-distance from him maybe because you know like there are things going on in life and then you just feel like you're not heard by God or persecuted or any of those circumstances. And kaya po hindi tayo magiging kagamit-gamit na kay Lord is first, it will be hard for us to contribute para sa kingdom niya. Dahil set apart tayo from Him. And then another thing is that yung we, it will be hard for us to invite another soul or to save a soul for him. Kumbaga, we will be no different from the people who are a part of this people. But there is, syempre po, there's always redemption na hanggat nabubuhay po tayo, even if there are times na nananabang tayo or we turn around from God, there's always um that forgiveness from the Lord as long as we repent. And then he can always renew that salt to bring back the taste, the 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 light, the fire that we have to serve him, to talk about him, and to love him. And paano naman po natin ma-apply ito sa buhay natin? It's important to always remember that Jesus is the true light. And because Jesus is in us, his light will reflect sa atin in the dark world. And this will draw people's eyes and will follow due to Christ's will. And we are to be used to glorify his work in our life. We also need po to, especially to share about the Lord, about Jesus. And to pray to keep having the light and soul to reflect in us. We also need to be careful din po of the way, um, how we feel about the Lord. Because there are instances po or tendencies for some to do the work for themselves or para ma-recognize, para mabate, for reputation, or para makita yung relevance yung ambag ba. And that's more focusing na nadadivert na yung whole situation. Nag-focus na sa kanila or sa ating sarili. Imbis na i-focus natin lahat ng work na yon na ginagawa natin, maybe in a ministry, or maybe of pagtulong, 
imbis na inaalay natin yon because it is all God's work and we are just being used by Him. And um, sabi nga to ano din po dito, sinabi nga din po ni Jesus sa uh, Matthew 7 verse 21 and um 23, babasahin ko lang po yung sa verse 23. Yun yung there are many people, sabi niya na, marami magsasabi na, Lord, Lord, ginawa ko naman lahat para sa'yo. Ginawa ko to, ginawa ko yan. Um, tapos, sasabihin ni Lord na, sino ka, lumayo ka sa'kin, sa hindi kita kalala. And that, that that will hurt really bad. Kasi, but then at the same time, if you look at it, it's because you're already boasting and showing na, everything, all of that happened because of your own strength and not because crediting him for the work. So, syempre po, number one, we need to know our purpose. And that is, sinabi nga din po dito sa verse, to be the salt and light of the world. Second, always point every credit back to God and do the work for him, not to ourselves. Not for ourselves. And number three po, lastly, always pray for our heart and dedicate it for Him. This is to avoid making it all about us. Dahil, ika nga po, si Lord lang po ang bida. So, dapat mas pinagkikwentuhan po natin si Lord to glorify Him. And para hindi po tayo manabang, it is always important to make our hearts right and build relationship with the Lord. Yun po yung akin. Um, pero syempre po, for the question for tonight po is, um, what from um it says here to be the light and salt of the earth so what can you do to keep your light shining for christ that's my question po thank you po sa pakikinig okay. maraming salamat alison so sa unang uh, okay good evening muna sa uh kina janine good evening janine uh, good evening good evening sa iyo uh okay let's start so we have a question here what can you do to keep your light shining for christ let's start with uh rachel and jai good evening say you rachel and jai Hello po. So I think ang sagot po at natin the world be um para po siyang ano um poste ng ilaw. Kung di po tayo nakakabit sa sword um wala po tayong magiging ilaw. So yung source po na yan is from the Lord. So dapat po isoak natin yung sarili natin sa salita niya and then um yun nga po mag take for and all yung mga ayung mga ano po talagang common na ginagawa natin para po talagang mag-grow tayo sa Lord and then um ano po ba yung kasi po kapag po nagawa natin yung lahat ng bagay na yon yun nga po yung source natin will be coming from the Lord um it will come naturally po being the salt and light to other people like, like for example po yung si Jairus po sa work ganun um, nakikita po siya na parang, di naman siya po nagsasalita, di naman sinasabi na, uy, Christian na ako, punta kayo sa church namin, ganun, ganun, blah, blah, blah. Pero nung birthday niya, naalala ko po, ang binigay sa kanya nung mga workmates niya is um, devotional book. Mm-hmm. So, sabi ko, paano na lang magka na, ano, na Christian ko? Di ko rin alam may ganun. Tapos yung college friends po nila, minsan naman, ano, nakita-kita sila, tapos kumain sila. And then, nakakatuwa po kasi, before sila kumain, Bro, sabi niya, sige, mag-pray ka, ganun. So, sabi ni Jairus, kahit, kahit joke yun, at least, pag-pray po nila, napag-pray po niya yung, yung food nila and then yung fellowship din po nila. So, I think it will come naturally po pag nakasok po tayo sa source and that's the Lord. Amen. 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 Salamat. Salamat, Rachel. Sabi ni Tita Bing, para manatili ang ating relasyon o ilaw natin na nanggagaling sa Panginoon ay dapat mas pinalalalim natin yung pagkakilala natin sa Kanya sa pamamagitan ng pagbabasa ng mga salita niya para 
Di tayo maligaw at makapagbahagi tayo sa iba. Amen. In words and in deeds yun. Amen. Thank you, Tita Bing. Okay, so sa ating mga listening mode, kung nais nice pong mag, uh, magbigay ng inyong kuro-kuro, pananaw at mga reaksyon at mga uh, uh, anything na you wanna say or input or added uh, input, uh, kindly write it down sa ating meeting chat. Kagaya ng ginawa ni Tita Ping. Alright. Good evening, good evening, Tita Fe. It's your turn. Ako, Pastor? Apo. Uh, ang sa akin lang, with the question, what can you do to keep your light shining for Christ? Sa akin, walk with God. Mm -hmm. Do His will. And then the light of Jesus Christ will be reflected to whoever is around us. And I I have a very good example, which I cannot forget, a big family who did not go to church. Did They did not have any interest in reading the Bible. But when uh, we, the wife, you know, and I were together at work, I didn't say a single word, hmm. pero finally, she invited her whole family to go to church, first her children, and then her, her husband, and all of them heard the word of God, and finally, to make it short, all of them were saved. They accepted the Lord. No word, no invitation, no nothing. The light of Jesus was shining upon them as reflected from the life I lived with the Lord. Thank you. That's my contribution. Thank you, Pastor. Salamat po, Tita Fe. Basahin ko lamang sa Tagalog. Magandang balita. Biblia, Asin at Ilaw, Mateo, Ikalimang Kabanata, Ikalabing Tatlot, hanggang Ikalabing Anim na Talata. Nax, ang dalim na na. Kayo ang asin ng sangkatauhan. Ngunit kung ang asin ay mawawalan ng alat, paano pa ito mapapaalat muli? Hindi ba wala na itong kabuluhan kundi ang itapon at tapakan ng mga tao? Kayo ang ilaw ng sandibutan, ang isang lungsod na nakatayo sa ibabaw ng burol ay hindi maitatago. Walang taong magsisindi ng ilaw at pagkatapos ay inilalagay iyon sa ilalim ng banga Sa halip, inilalagay iyon sa talagang patungan upang matanglawan ang lahat ng nasa bahay. Gayun din naman, dapat ninyong paliwanagin ang inyong mga idaw sa harap ng mga tao upang makita nila ang inyong mabubuting gawa at papupurihan ang inyong ama na nasa langit. Yun, ganda naman nun. Okay, meron tayo dito nga uh, chat. Basahin natin. And uh, we have here from Sister Faith. Uh, agree po ako kay Rachel na important to stay connected kay Lord. Parang yung analogy ng moon sa sun na nire-reflect niya lang yung light na nanggagaling sa araw. We can reflect God's light and character kapag connected lagi kay Lord through daily devotion, prayer, fellowship, obedience kay Lord, discipleship, etc. etc. Yan yung ating mga... basic no spiritual offense no kumbaga sa basketball yung ginagamit natin at ang binanggit ni uh, Sister Faith. Okay, good evening, good evening Sister Josie. It's your turn. Sa akin naman po, sabi dito niya yung tanong niya, what can you do to keep your light shining for Christ? Sa akin po, kakitaan po tayo ng mabubuting gawa. para upang mapapuriyan ng ating ama sa langit sabi niya po. Huwag lamang po tayong mga sabi na po, huwag na tayong mga Kristiyano sa puso kundi sa mga sa puso natin. Isagawa po natin lahat ng ating naririnig ng mga mensahe sa ating panganong. Ibig po sabihin ipamuhay po natin lahat at uh, yun nga po ipamuhay natin lahat uh, tayo dahil tayo po yung ano eh yung buhay na patuto ng ating Panginoon. Doon po tayo nagliliwanag. 
makikita yun sa ating mga gawa, sa ating mga sinasabi, kung ano yung mga sinasabi natin dapat yun yung ginagawa natin. Uh, para po sa ganun, mapapurihan ng ating ama na nasa langit. Yun lang po. Amen. DZAS na DZAS ang dating natin. Puso. Kasano sa puso, hindi sa puso. Opo, puro salita lang pero hindi naman po. Para kung may sa heartline. Ha? Opo. <laughs> Opo. <laughs> Salamat po. Salamat, Tita Josie. Good evening, uh, Tita Rose. It's your turn. Gandang gabi po ulit. Uh, sa akin naman po, importante po yung... Um, Tulad nga po ng salita ng Diyos na naririnig natin, importante po na uh, uh, hindi lang po yung take for po ang ginagawa natin, daily devotion po, uh, natutuwa nga po at nag-daily devotion po kami ni Dave. Uh, yun po ay patagal po na rin pong dinarasal. Siya rin po. Uh, yung pong discipleship, malaking bagay din po. na nakakapag-attend na rin po kami. Tulad nga po ng Salta ng Diyos, yan po ang nagsisison sa atin uh-huh. para sa paglago po natin. Uh-huh. Uh, hindi po masarap ang luto ng piging kung wala pong masarap na seasoning. At patis. Uh, po, po, at patis at bechin, siguro po. Hindi <laughs> po. Magic sarap. <laughs> kung bagay yan po ang magic sarap ng uh, buhay natin. yang salita po ng Diyos. Uh, uh, sa akin po, importante po yung bawat ministry po. Yung, kahit hindi po yung ministry, kahit hindi lang po yung ministry simbahan, kahit yung pagtulong natin sa kapwa natin, ay iniaalay po natin sa Panginoon. Sabi nga po lagi natin, ang Panginoon lang po ang bida. Wala pong iba. Wala pong bida-bida. Uh, dapat pong, importante pong nanggagaling po sa puso at uh, At uh, iniaalay po natin sa kanya bawat uh, galaw po natin. Yun lang po. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sister Rose. Okay. Sister Janet, good evening. And uh, Kuya Mani, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, what can you do to keep your light shining for Christ? Yeah. So, sa akin naman po, Dapat ang number one reflection ko yung light ni Lord is sa loob ng bahay namin. So, dun po sa mga anak ko, <laughs> yung mga discussion kami na sa, uh, how can I improve? How is my how is my patience? How is my love? How is my character? Yung mga ganyan po. Kasi sometimes, parang as I see it, parang tama eh. Pero sa mata ng mga bata o ng asawa ko mali. So, kumbaga may accountability. Mommy, you have to be improved on this part, on this aspect, the way you talk. Yung mga ganun po ba? Kasi may mga bagay po ako na na-learn na sa, sa, sa family ko that I have to unlearn yes. the way. Yung mga <laughs> pagiging judgmental. Parang feeling ko hindi naman judgmental yun na ah. Pero sa tingin ng mga bata, mami, you are judgmental. So, ah, ganun ba? Sorry. So, how can I improve in this area of being judgmental na hindi ko naman talaga gusto. Kailangan mabago talaga. So, yeah. sa akin po, ganun. Kasi, um, kailangan nare-reflect ko si Kristo na nakikita nila na ito ma- kailangan matama ka dyan. So, kapag ka po ganun, I do, I do say, oh, I'm sorry, anak, kasi talagang I, I really need to, to, to improve in this area. sa aspect ng Christian character. So, ganun din po yung asawa ko. May mga bagay na, uh, o, oh, dapat bago ka ganito, dapat ganito mo na gawin mo. So, uh, okay. Lord, I, 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 I accept that. So, yun lang po. So, um, sa akin po, sabi ko yung, believe you and your household will be saved. Talagang kailangan po natin yung asin at ilaw. unang-una pong makaranas ng preservation ng salvation ni Christ is yung mga tao na nakapaligid po sa atin. At sa akin, napaka-importante po yung family. That my family should have yung salvation na yung kagalakan na nararamdaman ko kay Cristo. Gusto ko po maranasan nila. Though marami akong pagkukulang, by the grace of God, nag uh, by the grace of God, uh, inaayos po at inaayos ng Panginoon yung lakad natin sa araw-araw. Yung lamang po, marami pong salamat. Maraming salamat. Ayan, si Sergio. 5%. Okay. And um, nabanggit lang din kanina ni Sister Rose, you know, yung discipleship, no? 
uh, maalala ko lang na katulad ng ginagawa natin ngayon, isa-isa kayo na nag, uh, nag-impart ng devotion, nag-delead kayo. That is discipleship. No? Kung baga, equipping and training uh, future uh, leaders na no? uh, pwedeng mag-lead sa ating uh, simbahan. Alright. Good evening, good evening. Uh, uh, who else? Uh, Aldrin and Jasmine, good evening. Good evening po. Um sa amin po ano po eh how do you keep what uh, what can you do to keep the light shining for Christ? Um sa akin po ano po eh um in every uh, level of maturity sa sa ating Christian life po we will go through seasons of being down of testing, of hardship. There will be seasons where you feel not, we feel like not, not going to church or you feel not, and you feel like not um, worshiping. Pero, you need to choose to worship. You need to choose to go to church. You need to choose to do your devotion, even if you don't feel like it. And then you pray that revival would come back to your spiritual growth and maturity that the holy spirit will guide you to bring back bring back that fire and passion to you know have that desire to know more about Christ to get to know him more to serve his his people more um to bring that love rekindle that love back so yun po and also especially it's important rin po yung yun nga po discipleship to to have fellowship with fellow believers para po ma-encourage po natin ng isa't isa so that um kumbaga when your light is starting to to diminish yung light ng iba na nakaka-encourage mas liliwanag pa yeah. may mapapasa yung liwanag sa iyo and then you can pass that that light to other people as well so yeah. yun po pastor okay maraming salamat adrin okay meron ba si Jasmine copy paste we have here uh copy paste po pastor Okay, so again, thank you. Pastor Bert, good evening. It's your turn. Hi, magandang gabi po. Ano po yung katanungan? Uh, what can you do? Anong dapat mong gawin upang mapanatili ang liwanag o yung ilaw na magliwanag para kay Kristo? Ah, uh, yeah, maganda po ito. Well, uh, siguro... Ang ano dito, we must reflect the life of Christ in our life. Yun ang gusto sabihin. Because we are followers of Christ. How can we keep, no? Keep and how to reflect siguro yung light that is in us. Well, siguro first and foremost, we must always be uh, yung pinaka ano dito, source. Eh. We must be always connected to the source of light, yung power, di ba? Dapat palaging naka-on yan, hindi naka-off. Dapat yung line natin kay Jesus, eh, yung relationship natin sa Kanya must be constant so that uh, we will continue to reflect the light of Christ in us. And yet, dito, makikita rin natin kung babasahin natin yung binasa ni Alison kanina na napakaganda na so that they may glorify your Father, sabi nga nun doon, uh, through your good works. So, as a light or salt and light, we must do something as a believer or as a, as a follower of Christ mm -hmm. in order that light may may seen by men and in order to be uh, Christ or God be glorified. Ano ba yung mga dapat natin gawin? Siguro po yung when we have that instances na merong nagtatanong sa akin, nag, nagtatanong sa atin, ano ba yung uh, pagkakaiba na, uh, na napapansin nila? Kagaya na nabanggit ni Rachel kanina, for example, even though you are not, uh, uh, ano ito, uh, anong tawag dito? You are silent, no? And yet through your good deeds, they see Jesus in you. And there's another one there na uh, once they uh, ask, no? Kung nagtanong naman sila, 
you must be ready to give, no? Uh, don't deny the opportunity uh, uh, for these people to learn or to know who is that light in you. Dapat sabihin mo yung katotohanan, magpatutuka, and yun nga, just point them to Christ. He is the source that uh, what they see in you. At siguro na in darkness, no? yung sinasabi doon, yung hindi mo may tatago yung ilaw, kapag ilaw ka, hindi mo dapat ilagay sa isang paglagyan, ano ba yun? Bus, bu, bustle ba yun? O yung itatago mo sa isang uh, parang tatakpan. Tama ba yung Tagalog ba yung tatakpan? O kapangpangan natin? <laughs> Pan Panuklob po eh. Parang... Panuklob, no? Huwag mong takpan o huwag mong itago yung ilaw. Siguro yun ang ano. Sabi. So you have to let that light or that truth, no? Or that hope that is in you make it known, no? I isiwalat mo, ipamahagi mo. Huwag mong itago. Sapagkat yan ang most uh, people right now, nowadays, uh, this world is uh, getting worse and people are getting restless. People are impatient, no? Marami yung mga problema. So, nangangailangan sila ng parang isang ilaw o na magbibigay ng parang yung ilaw ay yun, magbibigay ng pag-asa sa buhay nila. So, dapat ganun tayo, no? Na nawa na yung ilaw natin ay hindi hindi, ano, busted. <laughs> Baka pundi na yung ilaw natin, inisip pa rin natin na tayo ay ilaw. Ilaw nga tayo, kaya lang walang liwanag. Kaya balik tayo ulit dun sa original source. We must be connected to the power or the source of light and that is Jesus. We must have that constant relationship in order for us to reflect the beauty of Christ so that those who will see us, they will have that hope and and come to know him. So tayo po yung magiging uh, ano ito, kumbaga yung conduit for these people who are hopeless and in this world a eh, through us as light of Christ in this world sila ay makakasumpong ng pag-asa sa buhay. Amen. Yun lang po siguro napakahaba. No? <laughs> Thank you po. Kasi yung base, yung base pagka tinaklob yun sa ilaw isa ba sa kandila mamamatay eh. mawala ng hangin eh. Pagka, so yun yung sinasabi ni Pastor Bert kanina yung panaklob okay so we have here uh, from CJ para po sa akin I can keep on shining my light through Christ through continuously seeking Him seek Him first ayan, uh, worshiping and serving in ministry and allowing the Lord to lead in our lives especially in everything we do and that we should not rely on our own strength and understanding. Amen. Salamat, CJ. Good evening sa'yo, Sister LV. It's your turn. Sister LV. So, habang hinihintay natin si Sister LV, sabi dito ni Sister Minnie, praise, re praise report, WASC accreditation is finished. Yun, simula nung Sabado hanggang kahapon ba yan? No? Kaya wala si Sister Mine nung linggo. Hindi po totoo na nag-away kami. <laughs> Overall, uh, all categories ratings are great. We are just waiting for the final report from WASC Committee. And uh, Briel got a scholarship for a science camp this summer. Prayer for Christina Solis Health. Okay, Christina Solis. Okay, ano sakit ni Christina Solis? Okay. So, Tita LV, pwede ba si Tita LV? Baka busy pa si Tita LV. So, anyway, uh, let's go right ahead sa ating uh, panalangin. So, tayo po ay uh, magsimula ng panalangin. So, for uh, for for the start, ako po ang uh, mananalangin. Tayo po ay lagay po natin ating sarili sa presensya ng Panginoon, dakilang ang masalami, dinadakila po namin kayo sa gabi na to, kayo po ang tinataas namin. 
Ang pangalan niyo po ang aming pinakakapurihan at uh, kayo po ay uh, rapat dapat na itanghal at uh, kayo po ang uh, ina-acknowledge naming hari ng mga hari at uh, Panginoon ng mga Panginoon. Um, purihin po ang uh, banal na pangalan ninyo. Uh, humingi po kami ng kapatawaran sa mga kasalanan namin, sa mga naiisip naming mali at kasalanan, sa mga nasabi naming mali at kasalanan at sa mga ganun ding ginawa naming mali na mga kasalanan. Uh, humingi po kami ng kapatawaran, tapos puso pong pagpapatawad, humingi po kami. Uh, nawa ay uh, kayo po ang uh, magdini sa amin. Aming mga puso, aming mga damdamin, aming mga isipan, dinisin niyo po, Panginoon. At uh, sa pamagitan ng banal niyong dugo, maraming salamat po sa kapatawaran na inaalay niyo sa amin. Nagpapasalamat po kami unang-una sa aming mga personal na buhay, sa aming mga patuloy na paglago sa aming spiritual journey, uh, sa uh, mga provisions niya sa amin mula sa mga basic needs hanggang sa mga needs and wants namin, uh, sa mga ekstrang pagpapala na hindi na namin ina-expect, Panginoon. Maraming salamat sa lahat ng ito. Maraming salamat sa magandang uh, pangalan na binibigay niyo sa amin dahil nakakabit kami sa pangalan ninyo. Uh, maraming salamat din po, Panginoon, sa mga biyaya na natanggap namin, patuloy na, tat- na natatanggap at uh, patuloy pang matatanggap mula sa inyo. Sa lahat po ng mga answered prayers namin, Maraming salamat at sa mga susunod pang answered prayers, marami din pong salamat sa inyo. Sa gabi na ito, humingi po kami ng tulong sa inyo. Humingi kami ng pabor, humingi kami ng healing, humingi rin po kami Panginoon ng iba't ibang dalangin ah, hindi lamang patungkol sa aming sarili, patungkol din sa ibang tao at ah, sa mga tao kilala o hindi namin kilala, Panginoon. Uh, sa gabi na ito, tinataas sa aming Panginoon sa inyo yung uh, Floor Ball Club, Panginoon, sa Lasal Sobel uh, na magkaroon po ng unity at uh, teamwork na sila po, Panginoon, ay uh, anihan ng spirito nyo, makakilala ang mga kabataan doon sa, sa inyo. Tanggapin kayo bilang Panginoon at tagkapagdiktas. <clears throat> Dalangin din po namin, Panginoon, si uh, Kuya Ben, na meron pong ubo, pagalingin niyo po ang kanyang ubo, Panginoon. Ganyan din po si Sister May, na asawa niya, na magkaroon po ng good result sa kanyang colonoscopy. Uh, yung biopsy, Panginoon, na mga nakitang polyps, Panginoon, ay magiging negative uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, Ganyan din po si Sister Josie, na mag-under sa mamog, mamogram, na wala pong makita na hindi ka nais-nais, Panginoon, kundi, Panginoon, uh, healthy, Panginoon, ang kanyang kalusugan. Panginoon, dinudulog namin sa inyo si Brother Dave na, na, na may patuloy namin palaging makasama sa aming mga pagtitipon. Kayo po magbigay ng work opportunity, bagong work opportunity sa kanya, mas mataas na sweldo, mas magandang opportunity, mas madaling trabaho. Uh, sapagkat uh, kayo po ang un- un- kanyang inuuna, Panginoon. Dalangin namin na Monday to Friday para po weekends ay uh, kasama niya po ang kanyang pamilya at ang kanyang uh, uh, both physical and spiritual families. Kinataas din namin Panginoon sa inyo, sina Jazelle, sina Allison, sina John Marco, lahat po ng aming mga sudyante na nagtitake ng midterms ngayon. Maalala niyo po nila ang kanilang exam, uh, yung mga sagot na kanilang uh, review ay maalala nila, makakuha sila ng magandang grades, makapasa po sila. Salamat din Panginoon sa buhay ni Janelle, ni Eva, na tulungan niyo po sila Panginoon sa pag-graduate nila ng high school at uh, yung kanilang proseso sa kanilang college admission. Bigyan niyo po sila ng favor, idalhin niyo po sila sa tamang eskwelahan kung saan nais niyo po silang mag-grow at uh, matuto sa apat na taon ng kolehiyo. Uh, maraming salamat din Panginoon sa buhay ni Sister Jasmine na pinagaling mo na yung kanyang stomach ache sa kanyang uh, healing Panginoon sa March 6, meron po siyang exam. Uh, permanent exam po. Uh, per, uh, ito po ay exam for permanency para po maging permanent uh, ano po siya, uh, employee. Uh, dalayan po namin na uh, may pasan niya po to with flying colors at uh, patuloy niya po siyang pagpalain, Panginoon. Uh, ganun din po si Anaya. Magkakaroon po siya ng field trip. Uh, safety and protection po ang ibigay niyo kay Anaya. Continue sealing naman po kay uh, Sister Patty na katatapos lang ng hip surgery na why uh, gamitin niyo po si Tita LV na maging uh, 
ilaw at asihin Panginoon sa buhay ni Sister Patty at uh, patuloy niyo po siyang pagalingin at uh, makarecover siya ng maayos. For our La, La Filness attendees, uh, our prayer leader is Rachel from uh, attendees 27 to 41. Rachel? Uh, patuloy po tayong manalangin. Lord, maraming salamat. po sa uh, following uh, church members, Lord, starting with um, Gianna, Tita Gurley, uh, Leslie, Pastor Dave, Lord, and we're praying for uh, Carl and his wife and Ate Sherni then po, and with Chris and Brandon and Eva, Lord. We're all praying for um, their family, Lord, na patuloy niyo po silang gamitin at maraming salamat po dahil uh, pagpapala po sila sa, sa inyong church, Lord, at sa Ibang tao, Lord, at protektahan niyo po sila um, going to work, going to school, Lord. At um, alam niyo po yung desire na kanilang puso, Lord. Uh, pinagdadaanan man po sila ngayon, Lord. Um, patuloy niyo po silang gabayan, Lord. Give them wisdom and knowledge, Lord, sa araw-araw po na buhay nila, Lord. Um, we're praying for um, Gianna rin po sa kanya pong pag-aaral. And even less, Lord, if naghahanap po na siya ng trabaho, Lord. Patuloy niyo po silang pro protect the buong pamilya, Lord. And we're praying for our family as well, uh, starting with Jairel, um, Jairus, me, and Raisa, Lord. Uh, patuloy niyo po kaming um, ingatan at i-bless, Lord. Lalo na lalo po yung mga bata sa school, Lord, and Jairus, Lord, sa kanya pong work, Lord. Uh, protectahan niyo po kami at ilayin niyo po kami sa um, sa kuna at sa mga masasamang loob, Lord. Um, protectahan niyo po kami sa aming pagpunta sa school, sa aming work, Lord. And um, we're praying for um, Nanay Vilma, uh, uh, Jaya, and <clears throat> Derek as well, Lord. Uh, ingatan niyo po sila at ilayo niyo po sila sa anumang sakit, Lord. At uh, patuloy niyo po silang i-bless, Lord. Alam niyo po yung mga desires na kanilang puso, Lord. At alam po namin na ipagkakalob niyo po yun in your perfect timing, Lord. Lalong-lalo na po yung prayer request sila, Jaya, na magkaroon po sila ng bagong bahay, Lord. And <clears throat> sa entrance exam po ni um, Derek for this coming March, And alam po namin na magiging smooth po yung process niya sa sa nursing school niya for three years, Lord. And alam po namin na nag-graduate po siya with flying colors and makakapasa na po siya ngayon pa lamang po sa kanyang NCLEX exam, Lord. And we're praying for the Dangawan family as well, starting with Tito Manny, Tita Janet, Nicole, Nadine, Lord. And yung uh, John Nicole and Janelle, Lord. And we're praying din po yung um, kapatid po nila na nasa Pilipinas and his and her family as well, Lord. Um, ibigay niyo po kay Tito Manny yung request niya po na schedule, Lord, na wala pong Saturday and Sundays, Lord, para po um, patuloy po namin siya makasama sa, uh, every Sunday. And yung plano po nila mag-join sa praise and worship, Lord. And ganun po kay Tita Janet, ingatan niyo po siya sa kanyang work, Lord, every day pagpasok niya po, Lord. And uh, gano'n rin po si Nicole and Janelle. Nalo na po si Janelle sa kanyang college admission, Lord. Give uh, give them um, wisdom and knowledge, Lord, sa kanila pong pag-aaral, both of them, Lord. And gano'n rin po yung kanilang anak sa Pilipinas, yung ate po ni Nicole and Janelle, Lord. Continue to bless them, Lord. And pagpalain niyo po yung uh, family nila. And um, hindi lang po ito yung pinagpapanalangin po niya I mean, every Wednesday, but all our church members, Lord, uh, patuloy niyo po silang gamitin at i-bless, Lord. At pag-ingatan niyo po sila, Lord, sa kanila pong work, sa kanila pong school, at pinapanalangin din po namin yung mga hindi po namin nakakasama every Sunday, Lord. Ipuin niyo po ang kanilang mga puso at kanilang isip, Lord, para po makasama po namin sila every Sunday. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat, Rachel. So for our... Uh... Church of the Nazarene, Sister Janet, kindly lead us. Thank you. Okay. Um, Lord, we come to you tonight. We want to pray and lift up to you, Lord, Church of the Nazarene. Lord, we pray for our general superintendents. Oh, God, we pray for Busik, Rocker, Chambo, Sandberg, Daniels, and Sarmiento. And even for our district superintendent, Lord, Mark Liman, and for our local church board, Pastor Jeff, Pastor Bong, Sister Gurley, Sister Rachel, and Tita LV. And Lord, we will lift up to you, Lord, the La Filness pastoral staff. We pray for uh, PJ, for Pastor Bert, for Pastor Bong, for uh, Pastor Raven, even for PQ. We pray for our English. Uh, uh, we pray for uh, Joshua Tequila, for Michael Mata, Dan Bayer, 
Pedro Torres and Angela Ray. We pray for the Spanish Lord, for Juan Pajardo, for Lina Pajardo, and Gladys Rosales. We pray even for the South Korea, for K Sun Lee and Moon Hu Lee, for North Korean Jong Lee, Wan Lee, K Luk Lee, and the uh, M M C B staff. Star Crookies Nick and Minor Father, we pray and lift up to you, O Lord, O Lord, Lord, your cho chosen leaders and pastors of our church. Father, we pray that you will strengthen them and Lord, um, put your spirit in them, O Lord. May the may the uh, um may the anointing of of the the Lord Jesus Christ be with them. Father, we pray that you will continue to guide them on how to lead your church. Um, the programs and all the schedulings and everything that pertains to your work. Lord, we pray that you'll strengthen your people. We pray that you'll move into their lives. We pray for their families as well. And Lord, above all, safety and protection to be with them. Marami pong salamat sa buhay nila. Kayo pong patuloy na mag-ingat, mag-provide. Kayo pong patuloy na magturo upang patuloy pa pong lumago ang iyong mga gawain o Diyos. Panginoon, marami pong salamat. Isa-isa po namin silang inihabilin sa inyong mapagpalang kamay. Kayo po ang sumama, Panginoon, sa lahat ng lakad ng iyong mga manggagawa. Bigyan mo sila ng kagalakan, kapayapaan, at Lord, ang Espiritu mo, Panginoon, ang patuloy na mag-apoy sa kanilang mga puso. Marami pong salamat sa buhay nila ng paglilingkod. Pagpalain mo po sila, Ama. Patuloy mo po silang ingatan. And Lord, I just declare your word over them that no weapon form against them shall prosper. Thank you so much, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. And maraming salamat, Sister Janet, for complete healing provisions, comfort, peace, and other concerns. Uh, Tita Fe, kindly lead us. Thank you. Lord God, we continue to pray, Lord God, before you for this um, requests for our brothers and sisters in you. We thank you, Lord God, that you are present, present in our midst, and in your presence we know that there is healing, there is power, there is strength, and there is mercy. We lift up to you our sister Vilma, the, and we thank you for the life that she has, the love that she has for you, and your love for her. And we thank you, O oh God, that this is an opportunity for us to bind our faith together in behalf of Sister Belma. We ask, O oh Lord, that you meet her need. Please lower um, the, the sugar level in her body and heal that back pain in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We ask, O oh Lord, that you will do it right now according to your perfect will and continue to use her for your glory. Glory. We thank you, Lord God, for our brother Duds. Um, we ask, O oh Lord, that your healing hand be upon him uh, right at this moment and uh, heal him, O oh Lord, through your power. May the oil of healing through the Holy Spirit of God be upon his body right now and heal his stomach from any problem from any cause of pain in the name of Jesus and we thank you for that we thank you Lord God for our pastor is this pastor Jeff we thank you Lord God that uh, we have our pastor whom you have assigned divinely to us we praise you and thank you God for the wisdom that you've given him and for a good powerful leadership in our church Lord we ask that you continue to 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 use him for your glory and that people may be drawn close to you unbelievers may come um People who didn't want to hear your word would be would be coming to church because the Holy Spirit works in him and through him. So that, oh God, we ask that you heal him from that cough. In the name of Jesus Christ, I can't come against that cough and curse it in Jesus' name. And I ask that healing will work right now and deliver him from it in Jesus name and we also up, lift up to you uh, Gima Vicente for her leukemia 
Lord Jesus, there is nothing impossible with you. Your power is there. You said, ask and it shall be given. So we ask and we do believe that you have healed her from leukemia right now. But we give, we commit ourselves to your will. But we believe, Lord, that you have heard our prayer for her and you will heal her out of your mercy and grace. We bring up to you, Lord, Pastor John, Juan Lee, for his kidney trouble and stroke. Lord God, not, nothing is impossible with you. When you died on the cross and you said, Lord, it is finished, it meant healing for both body and soul. And we do believe right now, dear God, you are hearing our prayers. We ask, O oh Lord, that you will heal that kidney, um, heal it and restore it, O oh God, to its perfect functioning as you have created it to work for his body. And we ask that you will make his his circulatory system, O oh Lord, work perfectly. Heal it in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, remove, O oh Lord, whatever is uh, preventing the, the, uh, the smooth flow of blood in his body. Touch him and heal him. Make this a wonderful testimony of your healing power, Jesus. We lift up to you, Lord God, Tita Berna. Oh, this is Bernadetta. We thank you for his love for you. And even right now, dear Jesus, we know you're hearing our prayers. And you take delight of those who trust in you. We commit her to you, Lord. We thank you that she believes in your healing power. We thank you, Lord God, that she believes in your mercy. And tonight, oh God, we ask that you touch that knee. May the oil of healing flow through this body and heal that knee. And that when the surgery comes, so oh God, it would be a surprise. Lord, out of your miraculous power, Lord, that, there is, that her knee is healed. Yet your will be done. We thank you, God, because you have heard our prayer for her. We thank you for Mercedes Vito. Whatever she's he feeling, Lord, oh God, we know you know it. And you are so gracious. You feel the pain of people, your people, your children. Lord Jesus, have mercy on her. Forgive, O oh Lord, anything that must be forgiven in her life. Touch her body, Lord. Let your healing virtues flow through her body, from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, through and through. Let that healing power, Lord, drive away, O oh God, completely, whatever she's feeling, whatever sickness there is, whatever disorder in her body is, and is heal and restore her health. May this be a wonderful testimony of your healing power, dear Jesus, and the mercy and grace of God. Lord God, we, we commit to you our pastor, our pastor who has fed us, so oh God, who has strengthened us and given, helped us to, 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 increase in our faith in you and experience more the love that you have for us. Lord, we ask, oh God, that you will touch that knee. Nothing is impossible with you. And you said, Lord, that we can ask anything from you and you will do it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you lay your hand of healing upon that knee. 
and rebuke every pain and cause of pain in the name of Jesus Christ. You said, Lord, command ye me the works of my hands, and I will do it. Therefore, dear God, I plead with you that you will fix the pain and that you will make it perfect and function the way you have created it for him in the name of Jesus Christ. And when March 5th comes, Lord, may that injection, Lord, have your power to heal. In Jesus' name we pray. We thank you, God, for your mighty power that works in him. We thank you for him, for his life, for his dedication to you and for blessing his family. We lift up to you, Patrick Noel. God, you are a God of miracles. Nothing is hard for you. And you said, Lord, ask anything in my name and I will do it. Lord God, we trust you. We ask you and we believe, Lord, that you will make his extremities, his feet, his legs, his, his bones, so God, the nerves and everything, oh God, that work together to make him able to walk, to function, Lord, the way you have created them to be, so that he will be able, oh God, Oh, God, to join the church and be a testimony of your healing power, we ask that you will do even now. We thank you for that in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And for Ivan del Rosario, Lord God, we commit him to you. We believe, Lord God, that at this very moment you are hearing our prayers. Heal that mind, we pray, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Let that power of healing flow through his body, O oh God, and heal him, O oh Lord, holy in Jesus' mighty name. And I confess, dear Lord, Ephesians 3.20, over each one of them that we have lifted up to you. We thank you, God, because you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think. And we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, salamat po, Tita Fe. For complete healing from cancer, uh, Sister LV, can you lead po ba? Sige, parang hindi ata pwede si Sister LV. Ako na lang mananalangin. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa kapangyarihan ng kakayahan nyo para uh, magpagaling ng mga taong may cancer. Ito nga po ang isa sa mga kinakatakutan, napakahirap gamutin at uh, sinasabing walang lunas ang siyensya. Pero po sa kapangyarihan nyo, kahit si Lazarus ay bumangon na tatlong araw ng patay. Ano pa kaya ang cancer, Panginoon? Tinatasa ang Panginoon ang mga sumusunod, mga kaibigan, kakilala at uh, kahit hindi namin kakilala, ay uh, tinadalangin namin sila sa inyo. Sila po'y nangalangan ng healing, Panginoon, from cancer. Uh, si Miss Rivas, meron po siyang uh, uterus cancer. Si uh, Tess Uy, ovarian cancer. Si Edna Laberinto, breast cancer. Si Ricardo Madrid, lung cancer. Si Noah de Guzman, bone cancer. At si uh, Rachel, uh, lung cancer. Dalangin namin, Panginoon, na kayo po magpagaling sa kanila. At uh, patuloy niyo po sila na alagaan hindi lamang po yung physical pati yung kanilang mental at uh, emotional na state, Panginoon, yung kalungkutan, pawiin niyo po. Padalan niyo po sila ng mga tao na makapagpasaya sa kanila at uh, gawin po yung pinansyal na pangailangan nila at uh, uh, mahusay at uh, may wisdom na doktor para po gamitin niyo po para ma, uh, malunasan ng kanilang cancer. Uh, we speak of healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For personal supplication, uh, Alison, kindly lead us. Thank you. Lord God, salamat po sa lahat ng mga biyaya na natatanggap namin, Lord. And um, here we pray, Lord God, for mga 
special favors kayo pong mas nakakaalam, Lord God, ng desires ng bawat tao, Lord God, um, na nandito ngayon sa prayer meeting and the people that we are um praying for. We pray, Lord God, for Ate Wedge na she will be able to gain weight and sana po um, pagpalaan din po sila ni um, ng husband niya to have um little ones as well. And we also pray for um, Ate Giselle sa kanyang midterms. I pray, Lord God, na everything will go according to your plan para sa um, kinabukasan niya. That everything will be will look bright for her. I pray, Lord God, for um, sa mami po ni Tita LV. May you give her and strengthen her, Lord God. Restore her strength na kayo po ang mag-provide nito para sa kanya and that you will um give her the providence, Lord God. Look after her um with whatever she will be doing and na you just um prevent anything um bad or na kahit anong magde-degreat man, Lord God, sa kanyang katawan, Lord God. And I pray, Lord God, for Anaya sa kanyang CBC. Um, I pray for good results. And we also pray for Eva, um, peace, peace with sisters. Um, and na masettle na po yung mga documentations, makuha na po nila yung mga documents needed. And na everything will follow through smoothly, Lord Jesus. We also pray for um, Tito Manny and Tito Dave sa kanilang work schedule na bigyan niyo po sila, Lord God, na kayo po ang mag-provide po ng work po for them that will be Monday through Friday and nabakande po yung weekend nila. So they will be able to um praise and worship you, Lord God, especially sa Sundays, maka-attend sila. And I also pray for Lauren and Ate Faith sa kanilang behind the wheel exam na sila po ay pumasa na ma na itapat niyo po sila sa mga mababait po na examiner. And na everything po is maaalala po nila from the basics, Lord Jesus. And everything will go smoothly. We also rebuke any danger, Lord God, sa road while they take their exams. Na everything will be smooth po sa traffic and yung pag-left turn po nila and everything, Lord God, na magaganap. Kayo na po ang bahala. We also pray for Ate Faith sa kanyang processing ng papers and extension in the US. We pray, Lord God, na kayo po ang gumabay kay Ate Faith, especially sa school din po niya, na malapit na po siya mag-graduate. I pray, Lord God, that um you you will keep giving her the favor, Lord God, sa mga taong makakasalamuha niya and sa mga people na nagpa-process ng papers niya. And um lord just pave the um rightful um way that you want for her lord jesus and not allow her to have the sense of clarity lord god kung anong gusto niyo po para sa kanya we also pray for eva and janelle sa kanila college application mom may you deliver them lord god from like in sa senior high nila na magawa nila kung may mga SAT, ACT um exams nila that everything will they will be able to pass it with high grades and that the colleges that will be reading their application will absolutely love them to for them to be in the the college Lord Jesus and we I also we also pray Lord God na you will put them in the college where everyone will be a good influence na hindi po sila mapapahamak, na yung magiging major po nila is also something that they can use, Lord Jesus, to glorify you. And also, na yung schedule po nila is maging close pa rin po sila sa inyo. We also pray for Pastor Jeff, for him to pass the panel interview for ordination on March 12 sa Tuesday. Lord, we claim and declare it, Lord God, na nakapasa na po si PJ that um everything will go fine that na lord yung we know that you have so much more for pastor jeff 
and that you designated him as our senior pastor for a reason because you except from favoring him lord god we know that your holy spirit dwells in him and therefore we also pray lord god that this interview will be successful for him to be able to continually make you proud lord jesus and do the works for you and we also pray um for the following weddings um so wedding po nila Kuya Eder and Ate Angeli, na malapit na po maganap. We pray, Lord God, na everything will go um successfully as planned, Lord Jesus. That you will make it even better. The weather will be good. Um, no, there will be no headache, less headache, Lord Jesus. Um, from the gowns, organizations, and um connections, Lord God, na mga kinontak nila to do this event, Lord God, that everything will go well. We also pray sa um wedding ni Tito Dennis and Tita Mao. We also pray for Tito Shane and Tita Elmira's wedding, Lord God. May your will will be done, Lord God, in their lives and in their family. We pray for Kuya Joshua sa kanyang green card and work ethics. And Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that because you continue to bless him and guide him and look after him. And um, pagpalaan niyo din po sana yung mga tao na tumutulong sa kanya and that Kuya Joshua will never forget you and he will keep on honoring and looking at um your cross, Lord Jesus. We also pray for Lauren Ivan de Losario and for Kuya Job to be more socially adjusted, Lord God. Allow them to know you, to get to know you. Um, maybe, Lord God, allow them to see you in their dreams, allow them to feel you, the warmth, Lord God, that you want them to feel the love that you want to deliver to them, Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that they will be able to see this. We also pray for Kuya Job, Giwa, um, Beth, Sahagon, sa kanilang cataractic surgery, na itong cataractic surgery na to, will be successful na yung mga gaganap dito, Lord Jesus, is talagang aral nila and uh, you will give the best, Lord Jesus, to take place of like this processing surgery. And we also pray for Traveling Mercy kay John Marco Cruz and also thank you, Lord God, dahil um, nakarating na po si um, mga pepot um dito sa LA we claim it and we receive it lord god and overall lord jesus we just pray for all of these people and yung mga tao man po na hindi po na ilagay dito lord god you know our hearts and we just pray lord god that you will always be in control and that we will allow you to be in control of our lives and the plans lord jesus your plans are better your plans are the best, Lord Jesus, and we just claim it and we receive it. In Jesus' name, amen. Sir Matt Addison. And for our events, uh, let's, uh, uh, I'll just pray. Panginoon, maraming salamat po. Uh, dahil po kayo po yung uh, naglalagay sa puso namin, sa isipan, sa pangaplano ng mga leaders, kung ano yung mga susunod na aming gagawin sa simbahan, uh, dalangin po namin yung aming uh, pinaplano na magkaroon ng compassionate ministry, ang youth, pati na rin ang uh, married couples at uh, yung uh, men's and women's uh, ministry na magkaroon ng uh, compassionate ministry sa St. Vincent Mills uh, kung saan uh, tumutulong Panginoon para mag-prepare ng mga pagkain ng mga senior citizens sa L.A. Uh, bigyan niyo po kami ng date, Panginoon, at uh, naway uh, magawa po namin ito ng buong may pagmamahal sa puso upang maipakita namin ang aming uh, uh, pagiging compassionate sa pamagitan ng pag namin ng compassionate love niyo sa aming community. Dalangin namin ng tenebrae service, uh, aming Friday, uh, Good Friday service. Uh, kayo po magpala dito, mag-organize, ganun din po ang Resurrection Sunday. Kayo po magpala sa mga magte-testify. 
ano yung ipo sila, ganun din po lahat ng kakanta at lahat po ng mga maimbita namin sa Tenebre at saka Easter kayo po rin na magdala ng tao, maborn na din po sila, makakilala po sila sa inyo. We also pray for our Mother's Day and Father's Day celebrations and uh, ang aming uh, Spring Family Camp, Panginoon. Naway uh, madami pong sumama para marami pong hindi lang mag-enjoy kundi magkaroon ng uh, 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 pag panibagong perspective sa pagkakilala sa inyo. Nalangin din na yung Panginoon ng LA District uh, Joint Service sa uh, June 14 na kung saan magsasama-sama lahat ng mga taga LA churches. Uh, uh, dalangin na yung Panginoon na isang masayang celebration Panginoon sa aming distrito. Uh, naway makarating po kaming lahat at kayo po ang magpalasa. Uh, sa ating uh, mga popcorn prayer, uh, meron kayong nais na ipanalangin. Uh, we would like to open um, the floor for you and uh, just turn on your mic and mute yourself and uh, start to pray. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa gabing ito. At pinupuri ka namin at sa ngayon pa lang panahon ay inaakina namin ang mga kasagutan sa lahat ng aming nai, naihain sa inyo, Panginoon. At nawa ang iyong mayamang biyaya ay aming ring maranasan sa gabing ito sa aming paghimlay. Ayan mga Panginoon na ang iyong pagpapala ay siyang mapasamin. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Maraming salamat, Pastor Bert. So, tayo po ay magbukas na ng ating mga bintana para sa ating... Uh, Family pic, family picture. So we'll see you on Friday, and uh, of course on Sunday. Let's keep on inviting people for God. And uh, what else? So, kung available po kayo so Sunday, nine thirty at ang alis nila on nine a.m. If you wish to join the team that will go to Calvinas and uh. Celebrate with them for their 81st anniversary. Uh, if you want to support and uh, celebrate with them, uh, just be in the church on the uh, uh, on Sunday, 9 a.m. and uh, coordinate you know, with Pastor Rave. Okay, so siya yung team leader na magdadala sa Covinas. Okay, so dal labing dalawa yung slot ng... Uh, ng van. So, kung uh, sumobra, pwede rin kayo magdala ng sasakyan. So, yun. And then after COVID, as you can go back to church for our celebration naman. Okay. So, picture-picture tayo, mga kapatid. Okay. At the count of uh, three. Okay. One, two, three, and smile. Yeah. Lahat gubat na gubat ka dyan. Ha? Baka <laughs> parang kagubatan yung background. <laughs> Sige. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Salamat, so good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye, Penny. Yeah. Bye-bye. Okay, good night. Bye-bye. Bye, Penny. Bye, Penny. Bye-bye. 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 Good night. <laughs>